Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to your truck simulator, guys. My name is Garlic Bread. Strap on your seatbelts and get ready to roll. Well, today, guys, we have really big news today. And that is they put out a, um, a, what you call it, um, like a press release, I guess you can say, to us all, more about American Truck Simulator. We are getting closer and closer, guys. I cannot believe it is going to be two more weeks and a day uh, before ATS comes out. I, I just can't believe it, it and I, I can feel it. I can just feel it in, the, in, in my hands, me driving it. So, no further ado, let's get to know what's going on with this new game that's coming out. So as you can see here, it says ATS Map DLC Clarification. So this is where we're going to know a lot of stuff, hopefully about DLC of ATS. And hopefully maybe a little bit more about it. So let's click on this. And let's find out. I want to know about this ATS. I really do. Alright, so we are getting there. Alright, so it is time to respond to the avalanche of questions coming our way concerning our plans for the internal, uh, internal ed ed uh, edition of American Truck Simulator and its post-release feature. The day one release will contain the state of California. That was the plan. That doesn't sound too good. That seems like they might have changed it. Mm, we might be on the west coast. Who knows? But we'll see. We are happy to confirm that on February 3rd, we'll also have the state of Nevada. Nevada. That is awesome. Uh, fully ready to release. That is even better. So now, you, so now at least we know we're getting Nevada. We are still not sure about Nevada's finish line um, when the game box packaging design was being finalized. So the boxes sitting on the retail shelves were put the spotlight on California. But there's actually more coming your way right out of the gate. In short, DLC Nevada will be a free game update for everybody. No matter where or when you have bought the game. Available immediately on the official release date. So that's even awesome. So now we know. We we knew from the beginning California was confirmed. And that's where you're going to start off at. But now, when they release ATS on February 3rd. California and Nevada will be released to us so we're not just getting one state here guys we're getting two states California and Nevada on release date that is so awesome here's a little picture so this is Nevada and this is California so that is actually pretty damn awesome that is awesome and at, right here is Mexico it's part of Mexico right here um, that is where Mexico starts. So, you know, this is actually pretty awesome so far. Um, but that's from there. Uh, now let's go on. Let's actually go up. It is also public uh, knowledge by now that we are hard at work at the state of Arizona. Actually, that I did not know. I mean, I knew Arizona was going to be released. I just, we just, I don't know when. Um, so on the package of the retail box, there's actually ex exploit state that DLC Arizona will unlock for owners of this game edition when eventually finished. We are delighted to confirm that DL that Arizona DLC will also be a free game update. That is awesome. So right off the bat, you're you're pretty much getting two two maps. That is awesome. You don't have to pay for them. That is awesome. Um be a free game update for everybody you will just have to wait for a little bit longer this part of the world is still under development kind of figured you know I think this might be um, um, Arizona I think I'm not mistaken um, so it looks like just by this map it looks like they're gonna be going uh, southeast along the uh, along the country line so that pretty much be they'll be going south of the equator uh, you don't really have to worry about the particular channel where you purchase the game, whether it's on Steam or another digital store, in a or in a bricks and mortar shop. The playable content will be the same for everybody. So at least that's good. So at least no matter where you go, guys, 
You get it from your homie, you get it from Steam, you get it from GameStop, you get it from Target, Best Buy, Walmart. You're going to get the same as everybody. Which I do like. Um, actually, we should also mention that the n that next to this base release, several retail publishers have decided to also offer a richer and more expensive edition of the game on release, calling it the Collector's Edition. These bigger cardboard boxes are surely nicer. They contain a cool selection of additional merchandise items. So it will be, be for it will be for an example a really cool birthday gift with extra value. But it comes to the game to but when it comes to the game itself, it's the installation media that is the same. And the same set of DLCs will be unlocked for those buying this special edition of the game as well as for the people with the regular edition of the game. So that's pretty much it. It's almost just like, you know, Black Ops and all that. The game is still the same. Yeah, you might get maybe pre-release DLCs early. Um, but other than that, you just get some cool, some cool knickknacks. And I'm actually going to start looking into that to see what's the difference. And I will actually show you guys what the difference is. Um, but alright. Um, recommended price for the game. Finally, we have a price for the game. Recommended price for the game is going to be 20 bucks um, USA, so that is good. Although it be may be expected that for alternative currencies, so what they mean by that is currencies that are different. So like this, you know, actually when you when you do the the exchange rate, you know, this might be higher than 20 in US or it might be lower. So just remember, it's going to be different in your in your in your area and where you live, some local markets uh, specify in and, and the display and and the need to display a, a a nice round figure may cause a slight correlation. So, let's just say you go to GameStop and you and you know it's 19.99. They might have it for 20 bucks. It's not that big of a deal. That's the price. They just gotta round it up. It's what they do. It's the policy or the law, whatever they have. Look at that, guys. That is awesome. Look at that picture. That is fucking badass. I'm sorry. Excuse my language. That is awesome. Look at that truck. And it is actually looks like it is a suicide jockey. That is awesome. That actually looks like an ambulance. Right there. You can just tell by the brake lights on the bottom and the two lights on top. And that is a bus. That is awesome. Alright, so let's go on. Uh, we surely do not plan to stop working on American Simulator World with Arizona. However, please be aware that the road ahead of us is long and it will take us years to cover the continent. We will continue to add features to the game with regular free updates but mostly further map expansion DLCs. If not all, will be paid. We have to pick a business model allowing us to build more than 10 times the amount of content compared to what we were what we are launching with. If you're looking forward to drive coast to coast, you won't be able to do that now. We all knew that. I mean, come on, we all knew that. There's no way they were all just going to give us the full continent of the U.S. on the on the game release. We knew that was coming, and it will cost you even more eventually at the price of the initial purchase. Of course, uh, it'll be it'll be great to get the chance to reach the east coast. It would be fabulous to be able to push north towards at least 60 degrees latitude and south towards the equator. But ultimately it's up to you, our fans, if this happens. You will vote with your wallets and we expect to get the right guidance from you on the future growth of our team to handle the new opportunities and challenge challenges. The one thing I have to say though, I think everybody just so excited for, for ATS. I don't think we're just going to stop at... Well, we just want California. We just want Arizona. We just want Texas and, and all that. I think all of us that are that enjoy Euro Truck and is going to be enjoying ATS very shortly is going to want all 50 states. That's what they're going to want. So something tells me it's not going to be where we want it. You know, we we're not like that. This fan base is not like that. I can tell you now. That, don't get me wrong. Before you start blowing up my my comments, one, two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty of you may only just want California. You may just want Texas. 
you might just want New York and just travel from New York to California. That's fine. But the but the majority of us is going to want all 50 states. So, guys, if you're watching this, I can I can speak for most of us. Well, I no, I shouldn't speak. Well, cut it. Bleh, 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 reverse. I'm going to speak for myself. I would like and will want and will love to have all 50 states when they do come to be released to us. But anyways, let's continue. Um, and th so the, we pretty much was at the end. Thank you for your patient, patient, patience and support. That's all that has been said so far. But that is that that has pretty much wet wet my whistle, boys and girls. Has wet my whistle, literally has wet my whistle. I love it. It is awesome. I hope you guys and I hope you guys enjoy the little news. If you not have heard it already. So, and I will see you in my truck. Uh, we're going to do another tr uh, your truck game today. So, we will get ready. Welcome, everybody, back to my truck. So, today has been a happy one. We got that announcement about ATS and DLCs and the price of it. I'm really, I was really happy for the price. 20 bucks ain't bad um, so I, I am enjoying that price I was just more I was more worried for the price I really didn't I really wanted to know the price of the game so let's do this this is a short little run nothing uh, too crazy uh, so uh, we're going to um, also so this is uh, in the uh, Going East DLC pack. Uh, expected time is Thursday 207, which is in the morning through uh, 847 in the morning. That will give us a job income of 16,000. And uh, we have 11 hours to remain, and we have uh, less than 10 hours to drive. So we gotta just catch up a little bit. So let's pop it into gear here, guys. Let's turn off our four ways and uh, let's see if we can we can get out of here. A um, couple of new things though on this uh, in your truck, and one of them is the uh, fact that I have um, that um, that I have a couple of new uh, couple of new um, mods. Oh my God! I cannot speak today. And uh, one of them is the American uh, trailer mod. So that is what I have gotten. Um, and I was going to do one. But for some odd, not some odd reason. The only one that was popping up. Looks like i got to make a left here. And uh, so let's see. Come on. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I really can't wait to get my, get a track AR or something. Um. And it was, it was, um, I forgot, it was like a 23 hour, 23 hour trip, and I'm just like, that's, that's too long, um, because I, and especially when I don't have the time to do it, if I was driving, you know, off, uh, off camera, I would, but, um, you know, I don't want to start it and get one or two episodes into it or one or two trips and then uh, start a new one because, you know, that'll drive you, uh, you guys bananas. I'm trying to see. You can't really see. Alright. There's uh, nobody coming. Alright. You know. So, I decided a short little run. Nothing uh, too crazy. And then, also, it it kept crashing. Um, I don't know if it's because of the American uh, trailer, American, um, yeah, American trailers, or what it was, but it it kept crashing, and and I wish I could narrow it down, but there was, you know, it was just not that American trailer in the uh, in the pickup. There was two others, two like two or three, four other trailers in there, and they were all different. 
one was from um, from uh, from Jazzy Cat. Um, I forgot the name of it. So there was just there was a couple of them. So I have to go through and uh, and see which one is causing this game to crash. Um, and I, I'm hoping it doesn't crash during this recording because that would be that would be pretty damn horrible. So uh, uh, let's go that way. So we're gonna we're gonna continue on with our prepping for ATS, which is now two weeks. And a day away guys two weeks can't believe it I can just taste it two weeks guys oh my god can't wait so uh, but before we start on that I do want to apologize for yesterday and Friday's videos not going out um, Friday I had a very bad toothache um, and it got to the point I couldn't take it anymore so I actually left work early um, went to the dentist and he pulled out a tooth um, so I was pretty much numb all the way until about 4.30 at night and then I had to go pick up my wife and until my wife got home it was uh, you know it wasn't it wasn't really pleasant and then of course I got you know Saturday and Sunday off and then Monday uh, Monday I didn't plan any videos due to the fact that it was my wife's birthday and I wanted to celebrate it with her. I didn't want to, you know, be up and back, you know, doing videos and, and editing and recording. So, I, uh, I didn't do uh, any of the, uh, I didn't do no videos on, uh, on uh, Monday, yesterday. So, we were getting right back into it today. Um, so, like I said, I do want to apologize. I'll speak camera. Oh well, I do want to apologize um, for that. Unfortunately, you know, it, it is it does what it does. I am a lot better, as you can tell and see that we are, you know, doing this. So that's always a good thing for me. And uh, you know, I, I can say I tried. I tried to. I try. I, I tried uh, to do to do a recording on Friday, but. Um, I had so much gauze in my mouth, I was just pretty much, you could barely understand me. I pretty much had to talk in slow motion, um, so for, for you to understand me, if I, like, if I was talking how I'm talking now, you, you wouldn't even understand me. And, uh, and then not to mention I had, because I had so much cotton in my mouth, it kept soaking up the saliva. So I, I had common mouth like crazy on Friday. Uh, so just like every 10, 15 seconds, I was gl grabbing a glass of water to chug it down, and, and half of that got got soaked up in the gauze. So it was just it was not pleasant. It was really, really not pleasant. So, um, so we're back today. I will make up um, on it. Uh, on the on the videos that I missed on Friday, so um, and I think actually uh, uh, this was one of them. I do believe I look at my uh, yeah I look at my uh, my schedule. I think EST EST two was one of uh, one of the games that I was supposed to put out and I didn't. So my bad. Um, but yeah, I mean other than that, doing you know doing great. I hope everybody's weekend went well. Uh, once again, uh, we we're going through another code snap, and um, that's just that's horrible. Uh, today's been better. Um, they're expecting some snow for us tonight. Uh, just a dusting to to uh, to an inch in some areas. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Got to start slowing down for this uh, for this tow road here. Um, and then they're saying potentially snow on uh, Thursday and next Sunday, um, but they there is no uh, guarantee to it just yet. Oh, I forgot. This is also I think if I'm not mistaken, this is the I pass lane, so I can just zip it around and don't have to worry about it. This is what I wish I had in uh, the. Uh, the big haul that I did 
Um, that was just outrageous. Um, but we didn't. Oh, that is not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. I wanted 11. Um, so, I mean, it, you know, but oh well. Um, but yeah, so that's what they're expecting is snow. Um, you know, I want snow. You know, I, it's February. It is long overdue. And I think we need uh, snow in our lives. I really do. Um, talking about snow and being deprived of snow. On the East Coast, and now the East Coast, I'm talking about, um, you know, I'm talking New York, Buffalo, uh, New England, you know, all those, all that East, East and, uh, and North of, uh, East North on the East Coast, they... Um, they, uh, what you call it, they, they are, they are way lower than where they should be at this time of the year. Um, not even comparing last year, because last year was just a monstrosity of snow. Um, but the year before that, by now, they would typically have at least 32 inches of snow on the ground, by now. And they don't have much. Um, so, a uh, little bit of a news flash. Uh, the major winter storm, I think it's Maureen or Jolene or something, um, is expected to hit the East Coast, Buffalo, New York, New England, uh, the, over the weekend. It's supposed to hit like Thursday or Friday, uh, definitely Friday and go all the way to like Saturday if I'm not mistaken uh, Saturday or Sunday and they're saying it's supposed to drop uh, so far over a foot of snow um, so it's not nothing too crazy you know it's not like 32 inches over a night but you know a foot of snow is definitely something not to play around with you know in a short period of time so if you guys are watching these videos and if you're on the East Coast, um, start start uh, preparing for it and start watching it. It may or may not come. Who knows? You know, weather changes all the time. Jet, jet streams changes all the time. And uh, just, I just want to see at this uh, map, make sure I'm going the right way here. Uh, am I going right way? I just want to make sure I am going the right way. So, you know, if you like I said, if you're watching it and you're on the East Coast, guys, just start watching it. Um, they say uh, blizzard-like conditions. It's supposed to be like up to like 35 miles an hour uh, wind gusts. So, you know, definitely, you know, definitely get get possibly ready for it. You know. Um, because it, it may or may not hit you guys, you know, so, you know, get prepared for it. How I see is buckle down, you know, uh, set up that, that red tube that YouTube just announced and, uh, you know, save some, some videos and, and, and watch them. That, that's, you know, the best I can, I can say right now. Ooh, here's a little, little, little tight. It's a tight like a tiger. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. All right, let's kick it up to 13th here. Um, so about that, um, but now we're going to start, uh, we're going to start going on with prepping for ATS. Um, the next biggest thing, guys, is the difference in, in, in your gauges. Now, what I mean by that is, you still have your RPMs. Your RPMs are the same throughout wherever you go. I thought, oh, you know, one is, what are you doing? Jesus Christ. Really. Anyways, um, you know, the, the biggest thing is, you know, like I said, your RPMs is going to be the same. You know, one or ten is, is a thousand RPMs, twenty is twenty thousand RPMs. So, so all that stays the same, but what changes is on your speedometer and or your mileage. 
you know, your mileage might be in in, uh, in kilometers. Not kilometers, kilometers, I think. You know, same thing with your speedometer. It's going to be in kilometers. So that's the big thing that you guys got to get used to and be ready for is that difference. Now, what also... Toto... What also is great is on your speedometer, and you can even look in your cars too. Uh, they do, they do have them in. I, I can't see if it's a red or a green. That looks like a yellow, but it looks like a green actually. As long as it doesn't change, I think I should be fine. Uh, stay green, stay green. Very good. All right. Oh, it just turned yellow. Whew. Oh bullshit! Whatever. I'm gonna fight that in court. Um. So actually, if you look at your car and you look at your speedometer, the outer ring, the the big numbers that you see, is gonna be with whatever state you're in. So if you're in the UK or or Germany or whatever that has that uses, um, I think it's a metric system and you use kilometers, your speed will be in kilometers. Then, when you go, when you look at the, at the red numbers below them, the small numbers, those are numbers in, um, what you call it? In, um, well, I did not want to go to 16. Skipping gears here. In miles, in miles per hour. So it doesn't matter where you're traveling to. You can buy the car from there and take it to here. You know, you don't have to swap it out for the, for the, uh, you know, for the uh, metric or the imperial system. You don't have to. Um, and vice versa. The, you know, cars made in America. If you take a look at them, the big numbers are in RPMs. The smaller numbers are in kilometers. Or kilometers kilometers I think. so you know just remember that you don't have to change it so that's the next biggest thing I'm, I'm trying to remember and trying to get used to the speed um, you know of course if you're if you're old enough and you're used to it whoa you know you probably can do the math in your head and and determine how fast you're going in kilometers or how fast you're going in you know, in miles per hour. Um, but unfortunately, me, I can't. Um, I think I can only know, go up to like 100. I think 100 is, um, I think like 50. And I know 60, I know 50 is 30. Um, I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's pretty much minus 20. So 60 is 40, 80 is 60, uh, 100 is, is 80, 120 is 100. If I'm not mistaken, I really don't remember. Actually, I really don't want to go into 13. I'm in 14. I want to stay at the old uh, double nickel. So you know, that's that's just it's that's that's how it is. You know. Um. So yeah, just just get used to it. Um. Like I said, the other thing is get used to the trucks. Get used to how they drive. Um. You know. Get. But like I said, the major is 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 this is that. Um. I, I talked about the the scales. Get used to it if you haven't already. Um, but like I said, it all depends on how depth they go into it on it. If they really don't go into a lot of depth, it ain't gonna matter because you ain't gonna use it. I like somebody like me that might use it for a little bit for that realism. But if there's no risk and reward, or no matter what you're hauling, keeps telling you that you're okay, that you're scaled. Um, and no matter what state to state you go into, it, it ain't gonna matter. Um, and then you're gonna stop using it, so it ain't gonna matter. Um, you know, and that's 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 it. It's just just get used to it. Um, you know, and, and especially more if they if they change the if they if they have the weather changing, different than just rain and sunshine. Um, they'll definitely add more realism and risk to it you know and then you're and then your your your, your brakes 
that's the other thing is your is your breaks, you know. Not everything is is you know in in just one system like it is, you know, possibly in in real life. You know, everything is different. In in the U.S., like I said, you have you have two air systems. You have one for your tractor and one for your trailer. So you have to get used to pulling both of them. You do, and pushing both of them. You you just do. Um, before we get up here, I wanna take a look at the map here. Want to make sure we are going in the right direction here. So we are two hours and forty six minutes away. Uh, actually, let, yeah, let's do it. Let's do a little update. We are really running low on gas. Actually, we have one hundred and four miles to go, and um, we have two hours and. 41 minutes Something tells me we won't be able to uh, We may not be able to we might have to sleep. I really don't know And uh, yes, we are Gonna uh, we are going the right way All right, Come on nice and easy. All right so, you know, just get used to it. Just get used to, and that's your, and the biggest thing is get used to the English language. Get used to how, how we talk. Is that box truck still trying behind me? I'll, I'll let him pass. Get used to how we talk. Get used to how we say words and how we say cities and all that. Just get used to it. Watch channels or whatever the case may be. Just, just get used to it. Um... You know, and um, actually, thank God a gas station is coming up. And I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a swig of uh, of uh, iced tea for a second. Ah, good iced tea. Um, so just get used to it. You know, um, get used to the the difference. And it, you know, just pretty much that's, you know, what you're going to have to, uh, going to have to do. Start slowing down here. Because our uh, turn is, is coming up. Let's pop it in the tenth here. I wonder if this is a, whoa. Uh, this may or may not be a, uh, an American trailer. Alrighty. Bit of a trailer break here. Just roll it in. Alright, stop right here. Parking brake. Uh -uh. There you go. Let's fill up with gas here. That's going to be a lot of money. We had no choice. I should have checked it before we left, but I didn't for, for some strange odd reason. But yeah, you know, uh, ATS. I'd say ATS is just a huge is just a huge hit on uh, put put it in clutch, start it, put it in fifth, let go the accelerator, drive away. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money, boys and girls. All right, let's see. It's behind us. All right, we are good to go. So just like I said, just just get used to it, you know. Um, we don't have too many crazy roads like what's on the GPS now and what we're coming up to. We don't have too much of these sharp turns and, and all that. But what we do have, especially in, in the Rocky Mountains and in, in Canada, more or less in... Uh, in BC and in, in Alberta, is you hit. Whoa! That was just like an instant uh, sharp 90 degrees. That would have been bad if I was not paying attention. Um, but that's what I'm saying. You don't just have these random sharp, you know, turns like that. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, there may be some roads that curve like this that's this sharp, but nothing like 
like we just hit. And, um, but, um, uh, you know, but we have more hills. And, and that's the biggest issue is, is hills. Is And the one thing I can tell you is whatever you try not to do is do not stop on a hill. Especially when you have weight back there. Just do not. Because gravity is not going to be in your favor. And, 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 and it's going to take you a while to get up there. Um, or get unstuck. Um, because what's going to happen is one or two things are going to happen. Either you're going to be... Um, spinning your tires, which it could happen, but this is going to mostly happen is when you put it in, in, in drive, and put it in the gear. As soon as you release that clutch, your truck is going to start and re whoa, and release the brake. Your 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 truck is going to start rolling backwards. And what's going to happen is going to that's what it's going to drop your RPMs. You're going to step on the accelerator, and then your engine is going to stall. So, tr you know, try not to do it. But once again, it all depends on how depth they go onto the weight. You know, if they really put the weights into these games and really put the, put the weight on the truck and you can feel it chugging along, you know, trying to get up the steep grade at, you know, 83,000 tons, you're going to feel it. So you're going to know. You know, so, you know, try not to. And, and the best way to do that and try to counteract that is you're going to have to ride the clutch. You're going to have to still put the foot on the clutch, depress it, let go of the brake, and quickly accelerate. Um, because that's the only way you're going to be able to do it. Um, and, 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 and some, and winter roads are, are even worse, so... But yeah, just just get used to that. Get you know, get used to just just how we say things and, and all that. And just how it is. Um, you know, get and just majorly is is the speed. Get used to the speed. Um, I guarantee you won't go any faster than fifty five miles an hour on the highway. I can guarantee you that. Um, uh, like somewhere here, it'll probably be about 45, could be 50, maybe even be 55. Um, but in the city, it's 30. And, um, you know, so that's just, it, it's how it is. Um, with cars, uh, cars is, uh, in the city, it's 55. Uh, when you get out of the city, um, 65, 70, 75. Uh, that's the highest I've seen. I've never passed that. So... Just got to get uh, used to that. Whoa. Whoa. Let's. Thank you. Ooh, that, was, that was a little close. You know. Um, and just get used to the to the gas stations and, and all that. And like I said, depends on how they do the gas stations too. You know. And the hotels. You know. Um, I don't think there is no law stating you can't pull over on the side of the road to sleep because technically the law does state that once you run out of hours you have to pull out you have to pull off the road immediately no matter where you are because even if you drive an extra five minutes uh, they can write you up for that um, so you know you don't have to necessarily park at you know at these hotels or at these, uh, you know, truck stops. You know, if you run out of time, you run out of time. Pull over on the side of the road and uh, and, and, and stop and uh, and and sleep. Um, but yeah, you know. And then the other thing you probably will be more more uh, uh, focused on is the customization. Us Americans, we really like to customize our pickup trucks and our trucks. So, you know, if they really, if they do and expand on that, you're going to see some pretty, you might, you might find some pretty cool, um, some pretty cool stuff uh, on customizations on trucks. Or you might just find some bizarre ones. So, it, it's really, 
you know, it's really up to you on on on, on the driver and and the user of the game on, on how he's gonna you know customize his truck. You know, so just just also be prepared for that on on the different trucks that'll be coming out and and all that because it'll definitely be a uh, I don't like how that look, that looks like there's a truck that's Oh, oh no. That uh this in this T intersection looked like a uh, looked like it was a, a, a truck stopped. You know, and that's the other thing is you're not gonna have these these uh uh these gas stations on the wrong side of the road and you can't make a left here, you know. A lot, of, a lot of these gas stations, they have multiple ent uh, entrances and it don't matter. They, they feed as both ways. Sometimes you might come across one that's an exit only or an entrance only, but the um, majority of them are, are oh, just barely, just barely. Um, I just saw that sign and I'm like, shit speed trap oh well uh, and that's the other thing I'm really gonna be and that's the other thing you gotta get used to is if they put it in is these police officers I know I said in my last video but you gotta get used to not just looking out for for these cameras but looking out for these for these police cars because they can get you and, uh, and, and, and and how good they are on doing that, you know, they might just have it simple where they just smack dab in the middle of the street and he'd be like, okay, that's a cop, I know it, you know, or they might just have them in the same location over and over again. So, you know, after this bend, there's going to be a cop at the end, you know, that's easy. Um, then, you know, to slow down, but if they, if they have them, put them in random places and different times and. And have them hiding in, in some areas and sometimes you're gonna you'll be surprised how many how many times you get pulled over and get caught and, and rack up those rack up those tickets you 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 really will be surprised so we are uh, pretty much entering uh, into the city so we have to drop down to uh, 30 miles an hour and that is actually our Sleep. Uh, timer going off. So we had just made it at our time with a little bit of speeding. I was just going 10 over. Hauling. I don't know, even know what these are that we're hauling. Don't even know. Alright. Make a left up here. Alright, let's downshift here. Alright. Alright, let's look to our left here. Don't see anybody. Let's look to our right. Don't see anybody coming here. Let's look to our left again. That's actually one of the American trailers right there, boys. Let's see if we can catch up to it. Whoa, I'm way not where I'm supposed to be. Yep, there it is. That is the American... Uh, one of the American trailers. Alright. I'm going to turn into here. That's the other thing what you got to get used to. i never actually been in here. Is the... Uh, what do they want it? Oh, up there. I guess we could have went that way, but oh well. Um, what you gotta get used to is possibly cars and other and other objects being being parked or being uh, close to the 
being close to where you uh, on where you have to turn into um, that's probably what you're going to have to get used to the most so let's uh, turn on our parking brakes here let's turn on our four ways oh look at that we actually did go in the right way uh, if we did not we would have to reverse Just so I don't uh, put this on the trailer. Let's hit T. Let's actually let's turn off our. Uh, I don't know why that happened. Let's turn off our. Uh, let's turn off our. Uh, our orbs and let's press T. Let's disconnect the trailer. There you go. Excellent day. I love that. I love the excellence. And we got a full sixteen thousand dollars. And we leveled up. Yes. Exactly how I wanted. Uh, now, what should I do? Um, let's do value. Why not? Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed this game. I surely did. And, uh, you know, I will talk to you later. If you do this channel, subscribe. Jeez, my voice is going out. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Until next guy till next time guys I'll talk to you later bye